go what's up guys uh, I got a really special project today this 11 by 14 canvas uh, gonna do a mid 70s Ford truck I actually have to look up the year model because I literally just sat down and decided to do this um, but it's our drummer in Whiskey Foxtrot Stephen Worley it's his birthday today today January 13th I think it's today I don't know I haven't really caught up with the calendar yet still uh, lagging from New Year's but Either way, today is his birthday, and we're gonna paint his truck on here, which is a mid-74, I think it's a 75. Don't quote me on that, I will look it up. Um, <clears throat> but it's a bright, beautiful um, red color with some keystones and um, some Goodyear Wranglers, and that thing, just it just sits really cool. It's definitely like straight out of the 70s, something you would see cruising on the street. It's a long bed, but it's uh, kind of his baby. And uh, I'm gonna do that as a birthday present for him on this awesome 11 by 14. The canvas is a little rough, so what I'm gonna do first, I don't have any, um, I can't remember the name of the stuff that smooths it out. Gesso, gesso is the name. I don't have any gesso. But I do have this white paint, which, and, it flat, and it dries really flat. So it's not really glossy, so the paint will, uh, the paint I apply over top of this will still grab to it. Sometimes with glossy paints, um, you know, you gotta read the label, they'll say gloss on them. But um, if it just says straight acrylic paint, it's just not glossy. And sometimes if you try to paint over that, it gets, uh, you can, it gets real streaky, the paint you're putting on this over top of glossy paint. It gets real streaky and kinda hard to work with, so I always try to make sure that I don't grab any um, gloss. Uh, and it's not the end of the world if you do. It just makes things just a, a little more difficult if, but if you know how to work with it. But we're gonna try some of this flat drying white paint to uh, smooth out this background. And I'm thinking about, since the truck is red, is a bright red, I want like a really cool background to uh, color to go off of it. And I think I wanna make it like a um, deep, 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 almost like velvety red color so that way the bright red sticks over top of it and all the chrome will look cool on the truck but um, we're gonna paint this white and I'm actually going to do something that I've never done before I'm actually gonna draw it out in pencil first over top of this white here and uh, I want to try painting something on here that way and then I'll paint the background around the truck but um, yeah we're gonna get started on this
right, got this thing clear coated. Got it baking under the lights. Hopefully this thing will be dry here in just a few minutes. All right, so there you go. That is a wrap on this 1976 Ford pickup truck. Uh, like I said, this is for the drummer Steve and the band. I know I said I was gonna do a really, really dark background for this, for this red to come out, but when I mixed the paint originally, thought I had it dark enough, but it just wasn't. It was still pretty bright, as you can see. So I was like, well, something to contrast it. I love, me and him talk about 70s stuff all the time, whether it's music, cars, trucks, posters, or anything. So I went for this 70s look with uh, these Infinity graphics uh, around the truck, kind of like, you know, like they're vibe waves or something uh, coming right off the truck. But <clears throat> really, really happy with the way this come out. In fact, tonight is practice, and I'm giving it to them tonight. And uh, have some fun little messages on the back for them and everything. But yeah, I cannot wait to give this to him for his birthday. And so that's happening tonight. But I also have um, some updates on this. This painting is coming soon. I know it's been taking forever. To, uh, to do. I don't want to get too close on the details and everything that uh, I've been doing. But I guess got literally a few more things and that video should be out pretty soon. Uh, actually right behind this one. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe and hit the bell so that way you know when I'm uploading videos. And go check out my Instagram, Lead68Zip. And if you see or want any piece you've seen me draw or paint or want a custom piece of your own uh, contact me through lead 68 zep at gmail.com or direct message me on Instagram you can find me through there as well but yeah guys hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, really excited to give this to them and uh, we'll see you in the next one